for the podcast or even other things. It'd be cool to have like a little little studio of some sort. Then we can have like a video version of the podcast or something. Yeah, kind of like what? Well, uh, like the Sea Boys kind of yeah. have. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Except that equipment that they use, which is expensive. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually really expensive. Really expensive. I just like uh, I like the way they had their garage set up. Where like part of it is kind of like a kitchen party yeah. area, and then they got like their actual shop. I'm sure they practically live in that building, so why not make it homey? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, at this point, I practically live in my garage. I'm in there every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a mess, but it's the way it is. I share it with other people, so. Yeah. You're lucky to have that, though. Yeah. Well, it's been very useful in garage. Think about taking a chainsaw to my shop and cutting a hole this summer and putting doors on it. <laughs> Like garage door size, yeah, but probably French. Yeah. Open. Yeah. And I'll have to tear the wall off and see how it's supported. Store the store the new predator in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get things started here. What's going on, your Brapaholics? This is the Brapaholics podcast, episode seventeen, I think. It's uh. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Every time, it has been a while. <coughs> and it's been about two weeks or so, and I need to put my phone on silent. Hey, ding dong. <laughs> and uh we're here to talk about things that go brap so it's been uh slower on the content end i guess you could say um but i want to talk about right now because i'm selling on facebook marketplace quite a bit so we're going to talk about What's going on with the market, and how is the marketplace experience, and is it getting any better? And the answer is no. <laughs> so I've been buying off the marketplace more than selling. Yeah, selling on there is, it is a pain in the butt. Um, just dealing with a lot of people's baloney. Is this available? Oh yeah, I'm sick of that. Is this available? But anyways, we will get started, and what have you been up to, Wyatt? Oh, just getting over the, the Rona, mostly. I've been sitting at home, doing nothing. Yeah. Laundry. This dishes. is the second time you've had the Rona, ain't it? Yeah. So, more than likely, it's a different variant. Same side effects. Though. Same side effects. So, it's kind of like the flu, you know? Things change. Yeah. It lasted, That's the way it is. It la- didn't last as long this time, though, as it did the first time, so. That's good. Um, yeah. You know, just cough, shortness of breath, shit like that. So, sleeping at night was, you know, four pillows stacked high, keep my head elevated. <laughs> Bad yeah. problems now, but, you know, I'm over it. It's, you know, going back to work soon, so. You know, that was me <clears throat> several weeks ago. That was my first time I, I've gotten it. And uh, I was vaccinated, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that anymore. It's kind of, at this point, I think about it uh, like the flu. You know, yeah. it's it's here it, to stay, and it's gonna I, keep it's gonna keep changing. It's just the way it is. That's how I look at it too. <clears throat> the flu, nothing you can really yeah. do about it. It's yeah. here. The flu is, you know, the flu is bad too. I mean, people die from the flu. Yeah. So I, mean, I watched a lot of like Netflix and Amazon Prime, and I beat a Call of Duty game I had. And I was just bored out of my mind. And then I started watching Sea Boys, and I watched a lot of their episodes. Which, so. I, and I kind of recommended you watch some of what some of the stuff they do, yeah. so we can kind of, I don't know, help give you a little idea of some they're ideas just, and yeah, some content. Cool we can group make. of friends, though. Yeah, really. just a, you know, that's the thing. I we have a good friend group here. It's just. It's hard. Well, we're all adults. Our schedules are all different. Our, our schedules are all different, so it's hard. It's hard for us to get together sometimes. Yeah. You know, they started off as just right out of high right school. out of high school, or most of them are in high. They're all different ages. You know, yeah. um, I don't. Ken, he's our age. He just turned twenty seven. Yeah. And the rest are younger. Ken is like what twenty three or twenty four. He's like twenty two. Micah, 
he's like he's about our age too, yeah. twenty. Yeah, he's a little bit younger. Yeah. But anyways, they're yeah they started right out of right. They're young, so they they were able to put most of their time into it. They didn't have you know steady jobs. I I mean yeah. I don't know them personally. I'm just but I'm just going off of what they've talked about in their in the past in their podcast. They and put stuff. a lot of time into it though. What they, they did. Had. They all they uh, had a lot of time to put into it. Yeah. And then, you know, they all work together. We're, as, at this point, for, like, my channel at this point, most of the time it's just me. But I've had the great, amazing help from Wyatt and Brianna and yeah. Brock. I mean, when they can, they help. And, you know, so... And it's, it's hard to but squeeze it's hard. that into your life. It is. It I is mean, very hard. I would like to be here more than I am, but, I mean, I got my own shit I gotta do with yeah, too. Yeah, that's so. life you got at this point, you know, this is kind of a hobby for both of us yeah. at this at this point. I mean, that's really what it is. That's a hobby we'd like to be more than a hobby. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I mean, even even me, I've, I've invested. I For the last year and a half, I've treated this hobby as a full-time job almost of a sort just because yeah. I've been trying to push and push I've, and push I've and get it. I've seen that though too. I've seen yeah. the return on that, so. So, yeah, and that, <clears throat> I can get, you know, I can just talk about it right now, actually. Just, yeah, lately I've been trying to reflect and try to get set some goals for what I want to do this year with the channel. And I've been doing a lot of research on, on tips and stuff for how to make a successful YouTube channel. So, um, actually recently, and then maybe some of you have noticed, but uh, I've been going through and changing some of my titles in the videos and stuff just to to see if it'll help push more audience because I, I, I've done that's what the research is showing that sometimes all it takes is a title change or a thumbnail cha change and you got yourself a good video but um, so I've been doing that and uh, the dogs are going to be going crazy here but so yeah uh, you've been up to anything else uh, other than COVID, <laughs> not really. Just you know, doing my thing. <laughs> so we got the. Uh, I think we talked about this last time. We got the Predator pretty much going. Yeah, rip that. So we did rip that, and uh, I was waiting on a snap ring for the rear axle. I got that installed, and I'm having trouble getting the rear brake to bleed. So I think the brake caliper they sent me was. I don't know if it's bad, but it's not it's not bleeding properly, so they're going to send me a new one. Um, Sweet. So. <clears throat> Getting the itch for some warmer weather to go rip these things. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just kind of even, I was thinking about it. And I was even telling you earlier that at this point, if we're not getting snow, I just want it to leave. <laughs> I need to ride something. I'm not, it's, it's I mean, it's ri cold to ride riding, the, riding the quad in the cold it's fun for a little, like but... Like 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise... your whole body goes numb. Yeah. I don't know why, but I mean, I'll ride snow in the cold like no other, but that's what it's well, designed for. Yeah, it blocks a lot of wind, though. And if you the got the right quad setup... is all open. Yeah. I and mean, it's got heat... Yeah, snow has got heated grips. I mean, you got... Windshield. Windshield. You got the kind of kind of foot warmers on the bottom. The engine kind of yeah. helps keep your feet warm. Your shroud warm. and everything deflects the wind around you. Yeah. Or the tires are just going to cover you in snow. Yeah, exactly. It's just a different type so, of riding. But, yeah. It's uh, definitely going to be sooner than later, though, that we're going to do that. Yep. Well, we still got a solid two months of this weather, unfortunately. I mean, sometimes March gets a little bit warm, but... Well, we're going to send it here sooner than later. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've sent it in March. It just... I can deal with 30 to 40 degree weather, but when it's in the 20s or below, yeah, it can get a little chilly. chilly. Yeah. I think it was 40 degrees when we sent it, and I went, you know, handlebars deep. It, it was a cold there. time, yes. I think that was the first time we even went riding. I think that was march -ish. Yeah. <laughs> yep, when, the, when all the snow was melting. <laughs> and trust issues. And they got that creek flowing through there and stuff. Yeah. The water's normally higher. It wasn't last year. We had hardly any water last year. That hole yeah. was about dried up. It was. Last year was weird. Normally, I don't know why, but normally when the snow melts here, it just melts, like, fast, like, within a week or so. 
And last a lot year, of flooding, and then it floods. Yeah, so all that snow just floods because the ground's frozen. Last year was weird because it slowly melted. It was and like it should melt. That's it was a normal melt, but it ended up being a very dry spring as well. So we had yeah. that because I bought that salvage quad last year the in high, March. The high lifter. That was a high lifter sportsman. You're like hell yeah, I'm I was mud. Like, this. Yeah, I was like yeah, the snow no is melting. <laughs> And we're going to have mud. The mud usually lasts until June. Nope, did not happen last year. <laughs> no mud. Very dusty. And that's kind of what happened this year with the snow. I was like, yes, I got a new snowmobile. I'm so excited. Got to ride. No snow. So whatever Jesse buys, I need to buy the For opposite. real. Whatever I'm excited <laughs> for, it just doesn't happen, apparently. I just need to be not excited to ride snowmobiles this this next year. and We're going to get so much snow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my sweatshirt still got got purple vinyl on it. Oh, yeah. From last time. Oh yeah, we can talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So Jesse. It was your birthday. It was my birthday, and yeah, my birthday weekend. So. Well, over about a month ago, not quite. Three weeks ago, three weeks ago. It's like two weeks ago. Like two weeks ago. Yeah, it was like the end it's of January. February tenth. It was the twenty second. We all hung out. Was it? January 22nd. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but yeah. maybe. I, well, I was gone for a week. So Jesse but. came over, and we had some other friends on their way over, but they didn't show up till later. Right? Or was it just us? It was us for a while, like two yeah. hours. It was just, yeah. us. just us. Because just, no one showed up yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I put Jesse, he wanted some stickers. So I told him he can have the fun of weeding the stickers out. I showed him how I print them, or cut right. them on the cricket, and... And put them to work. Yeah, so... We in the stickers we, out. We, yep, we them out. This is like vinyl, window decals, what we are yeah. kind of making. Because I wanted... I just wanted... Well, I wanted one big one, and then I was like, well... The big ones are easy, though. Yeah, that was easy. And then I was like, well, I want some for the XLT. We're doing it. Might as well just... I'll do it. Why not? Make me some more. And then White's like, well, I might as well make some more for myself. So then we, he made some, and... I, by the time we knew it, it was two hours deep and had like 15, 14, well, I don't know. Well, I had a lot of stickers made. I think we had 12 Brapaholic stickers, and then I had made the Let's Go Brandon sticker for my wife. And then there was another sticker. Oh, the Lockhart Racing stickers oh, yeah. for my in-laws I had made. So those yeah. were pretty sweet. Those was, I, I learned, and why it kept telling me this, I mean, I, now I understand. I mean... They were paying the butt to make window decals. Yeah. That's I should have you come over horrible. and make a t-shirt sometime, and you'll see, like, wow, t-shirts are way easier. <laughs> um, I can believe it. I got an order of them. Come up. My dad ordered, like, 16 t-shirts for me. So he's got all different sayings. They're going to be easy. They're just sayings. Yeah. But, yeah, it'd be a good time. Yeah. Make, getting some, making some decent money with that, or... Ah, uh, no. He bought all the shirts, and I bought the vinyl. I probably, I probably won't charge him. It's my dad. Yeah, well, yeah. It's just yeah, funny whatever. Scenes. I mean, I understand. Yeah. Cool. I made, I made him buy the shirts, though, so. Well, yeah. Where's that? I got that, so. I don't know. Might charge him for the vinyl, too. We'll see. See how much it uses. Yeah. I bought another roll, because I was expecting it to use a lot. Okay. There is one that's going to be kind of pain in the ass. He wants one that says slow children at play, and then it's got two kids on a teeter-totter, but they're both sitting on the same end. <laughs> and it looks like a caution sign. So I don't know. I can try and make that. I've never made yeah. one like that before. Oh. But <laughs> It's going to be a layered one, but it would be funny if it turns out. Hmm. That's cool. i got to find that image. And, then one, and then now we can talk about, we talked about this last time. That we ordered hats, but they're, now they're in. And they're dope. They are, yeah, they're awesome. They turned out really well. I'm happy how they turned out. Yeah. I'm glad I went out on a limb. Yeah. Above your head on well, that one. Now, next time we, we'll go back to them. They did a good job. Yeah. So. Cal Graphics out of Cadillac. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And they were pretty reasonable, too. It was not, yeah, it's like it was reasonable. Four bucks for the hat and seven bucks for the stitching. Yeah. But it's embroidered, and they, yeah. they double check with you on the email, and they were very. So initially they sent me, uh, uh, my quote was initially to be done on February 2nd, or no, February 1st, and then when I had her, they sent the email back that I want the black around the outside of Brepaholic, yeah. 
And I said, alright, that might affect your time. It might be February 2nd. And then it wasn't even like two days later after that. Two business days, because it was a Friday. They got back to me, and I got back to them. So it had been like Monday. They called me and said, hey, your hats are done. Yeah, it was faster than what they initially so it was like said. January 26th, I think, I picked the hats up. Mm-hmm. But they were done on like the 24th. I just couldn't get up there. Right. So I had stuff going on, but... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they turned out really well. Brina likes hers. <laughs> she was listening to the podcast uh, last week, and she was, she heard us. Well, when I, I gave her her hat first, mm. and then she listened to the podcast afterwards, and then she heard me talking about how she would want a pink one, and she told me she wanted one when I gave her the blue one. That was, <laughs> that was funny. It's like, mm. I knew you wanted a pink one, but maybe next time. Yeah, there's got all kinds of options on the website. Yep. So. Yep. I mean, I just did them all the same for our first ones. I want a flex fit, so I think I'm next gonna time go back and get a flex fit yeah. sometime. But you got to order at least six, so right. Um, I'm thinking kind of like my Suzuki hat. I'm either gonna just do black and then have the star, or I don't know what color. Yeah, I like the black with like the blue stitching. Okay, be dope. But. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think a. Uh, Maybe try to run a little pre-order of hats. That way I don't have to initially invest money. I just, whoever wants one, will just pre-order it through me. And then, okay. we'll, then we order it. So that way I'm not sitting on a bunch of hats waiting yeah. to be sold. So I'm going to try to do a pre-order sometime this year and see what happens. Or we'll but, get definitely get the prices, though, the differences. It's on the website. I think, I think it was like 750 to have it embroidered. And the lady said, yeah, you know, it's, they do sh- uh, coats and everything, too. You have to buy coats through them, though. Yeah, yeah. you have to go through them. They don't Which, do third-party brands. Right. Well, if the coats are good quality, maybe they'll do that, too, someday. Yep. Because that'd be cool. <clears throat> I would definitely want to get a merch- merchandise line going through, but, you know, we need to, in my opinion, we need to at least... We need more. Uh, we need at least fifty thousand subscribers. I think. I mean, yeah. we're almost we're one fifth the way there. <laughs> yeah. Or a tenth, not even a tenth. a tenth. Yeah. So yeah, I you know that's all a part of the dream though. Mhm. It's gotta keep dreaming, and um, you know Noah, right? Brock's friend uh, Noah. Yeah, I think I met him once. Yeah, you've probably seen him at the farm. You've seen him before. Uh, um, he actually works with 3D printing. Okay. And he's got his own 3D printer, or a couple of them, I think. Anyways, Brock, uh, he wanted to test out his new 3D printer, and Brock's like, yeah, I got some stuff you can make, and he gave him our Brapaholic star. Oh, yeah. So he's prototyping some 3D Brapaholic keychains. Oh, that'd be dope. And I'll, sh- well, you guys aren't going to be able to see it, um, but I'll show White here real quick. Of the keychain. I mean, it looks just like after some. Those 3D printers. So those are, that's how they turned out. Oh, that's cool. And there's going to be a keychain loop on them on the next. This is what they, this is what the first batch looked like. Um, Okay. I was like, yeah, try it like this. And then he's like, oh yeah, I can do that. And he's like, that's going to be way easier anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, This design is way easier than the regular shirt. Yeah. Even in like doing the decals, which you've seen. So, yep, so we might, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do with them. Maybe we'll put them, if they're cheap, maybe we'll just eventually give them away as a, like, th- you know, here, thanks for buying our product. Here's a free keychain thing or something. Oh, yeah, so that's like what, when I order vinyl from My Vinyl Works, I was yeah. Sparta, or My Vinyl, was it My, My World Vinyl or something? It's MI Final World out of Sparta, Michigan. Oh. They always send, like, Skittles or Starburst. Oh, really? When they send your candy. vinyl. Yeah, they send a little package of candy. So <laughs> I got Skittles this time, and that made my day. That's cool. So I thought that was funny. I'm like, oh, I wonder what kind of candy. Well, one time they sent me Double Bubble. That was good. You know, bubble <laughs> they always send something, so. So um, I just got a message on my phone that someone's actually interested in maybe looking or buying the predator and they're the only person that's actually given given me uh the offer i wanted or been interested in the offer that I've, that i'm given 
if that makes any sense. So, I don't know. I, uh, I'm going to text him back here after the podcast and see what happens. But I guess that kind of leads us on to some of our some of the topic that I want to talk about is uh, the market and what it's, what's kind of going on with it. It's, it's working out okay for me, I guess. I'm not trying to sell anything, though, currently. Well, <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that is the market, uh, in my opinion, is starting to drop, and I've seen sport quads, they fluctuate. Um, they were high during COVID, and now yeah. they're, they're going back down again. And for you, it worked out. Yeah. Well, for the prey, for one, the prey that Sportsman three hundred, you got a heck of a deal on that. That wasn't even in the market. No, that was that was just kind of a friendly thing, but yeah, side deal. But uh, the Predator, you you know, six hundred bucks can't go wrong with that. It, it needed some work, but even even now, you have less than fifteen hundred dollars into that thing, and yeah, uh, probably right around fifteen. Probably around that. So with with the price of the quad, which with fifteen, yeah, so. which is still a good. A d- yeah, good deal. Nine hundred bucks in parts on it. And yeah, and labor. Yeah, it was main. It was, but most of it was parts. Yeah. So yeah, I got a good deal on that, and straight up ripper from what I drove it. Tires way better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're holding there, so that's good. Sweet. So. Uh, and compared to your Predator, I like I like the gear ratio way better on it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we'll have to once we get some pavement or sand or something we can do a little bit of a comparison but it should i mean it uh, in theory it should be better you know it's, yeah. it's geared well no one we down fifth a little gear yeah we'll know when the bogs are now yeah not. which it should be better it should be yeah better it so, feels more natural yeah and when i drove it it felt better but it was snowy it's hard it's hard to judge but it felt better yeah. well first gear didn't <clears> seem as uh Fast, fast, I yeah. I don't know how to describe that. Yeah, it's it was just—it's just, just fast. It's a fast yeah. gear. It's—it's it's got plenty of power in first gear. It's just fast. Yeah. Which, when you're in tight trails, you don't necessarily want that. When you, if you're drag racing, that can be a good gear to have, you know. But that's yeah. not what we're, <laughs> that's not what you're doing with it. No. That'd be, that'd be a wrap around a tree gear for me. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could probably even find a lower gear. But at this point, I just. Leave it as it is for I now like and it see the way it's at yeah. right now. Good. It's good. Okay. I mean, I I have I just drove it in the field a little bit. Yeah. So. But. Definitely so, this summer we'll find out. So, see, we're talking. So I, I've been trying to sell. My Predator for since I don't know October or so. And and the X3 and. Uh, they have I've literally gotten pretty much zero offers on both of them all through the the months until just literally the last with week now um i think i think part but, of it in my opinion is we're over the hump of winter i mean we still yeah got, we still got a good two months probably left of snow yeah but we're over the peak of it yeah that's that exactly that's what i was gonna get into uh, people are starting to get in the mindset of it's spring's coming and uh, they're getting the itch to ride, I think. Yes. Um, so I've that's why I'm itch. starting to finally get. I'm starting to get actual interest in the in the rides. But throughout these months, I've gotten nothing but low ball offers and just peep. And I'm not even just talking about um, just like the quad or the X3, but uh, even like I'm selling like rims, like for my truck. I tell you what, after trying to sell these rims. I don't want to sell rims ever again on the internet. <laughs> the amount of bull crap I've gotten from people about these rims, you know, I'll, I'll give you 50 bucks for all of them or something. Or people, it, it, or the fact that people don't know how to read. You know, I'll, I'll have a description of exactly what these rims are, what the bolt pattern is, the width, you know, the, the size and everything. And then I'll get the question. Will these fit a ram 1500? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... Or what? What's the bolt pattern on these? Or uh, do all four tires? Do all, um, you know? Cause I only have. Well, I had three, and, and I sold one, so I only have two now. And I have it right in this, right in the description. Only two available. Prices per wheel, and it's like two hundred bucks for all four. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm like no. Prices yeah. per wheel. <laughs> yeah, you know? two hundred bucks for all four. That's a great <laughs> deal. Like, or I'll get some nasty comments like. <laughs> 
these are the worst brain wheels I've ever bought. Why are you selling them for this? My bulb. It's like, just come on. I'm not a pe- why, why comment if you're not going to buy? <laughs> yeah. I've had to block like 10 people just because they, they just want to just like, it's like they threaten your life almost. Over, well, they're they're over not even interested in your wheel. Yeah, they just want to be bull crappers, you know. It's like, come on. I guess that makes sense when I bought them extra uh, aftermarket wheels for my Jeep I had. The guy's like, yeah, I, I'll do 200 if you come today, right now. I'm guessing he was probably in the same boat. He's yeah. sick of the bullshit. Yeah, I don't want to sell rim. I mean, I've never had an, the amount of nasty people sending me message, messages about wheels. And, you should forward them to your consultant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, there's there's that. It's, but um, the amount of, uh, you know, the X3... And it's, uh, I got some interest in it right now, but I'm selling it at this point. I'm not going any lower, but I'm selling it for seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. That's it's a base model X3, but it's a 2020. Um, my price is more than fair, and it's very competitive. Uh, but the amount of people are just, I'll give you a 2002 Jeep Wrangler and two thousand dollars <laughs> yeah, for worth- that. That's worth like ten thousand a two thousand two Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> it's like, come on, no, you I know. Sold my two thousand for fifty eight hundred. Yeah, I probably could have got more out of it. Yeah, it's like, come on, just and I hate and I literally people like I said people can't read like I literally say no trades. I'll I'll trade you this piece of crap truck for something or I'll trade you an HD eight yeah. XT Defender. Yeah, or man, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll offer. I'd I'd list your defender if you want to try selling it again, I'm because I've been getting some actual interest in it now. So I think people are starting to look a little bit more. But this needs wash. Yeah, you know, the bull crap. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have some soap, but it's done. I don't. My power washer ain't working, but I do have some good soap mm. that'll shine her up. But you just drive it to Cadillac and go through the. <laughs> yeah, go through it. the car wash. I mean, it's about the right size. <laughs> It'd be cold. It's content. But, I'll video. You can go through it. That is content. I don't. We have a trailer <laughs> up there. That's another thing. I have to show you a trailer that me and Brock are looking at, um, for the channel. For the channel. I'm back and forth on selling the fender and keeping it so much. Like, that's a good unit. I do like it, and then the Predator will fix my speed itch. So. It's true, and well. It'd just be me and you and some of your work buddies, but I mean, yeah, I'd love the I, I love riding the small stuff. I, the last oh, yeah. l- last year, you know, I, I didn't have anything small to ride. And I had a riot. I, me, I had the itch. Me, Justin, and Chris went out riding. I took the pit bike. I had a blast driving that. So I mean, I think just taking the quad. I'm I'm probably gonna keep the Defender. Yeah. Just, I mean, I would like to get rid of that payment, like just because it's an expensive payment, but yep. For what it is, I mean, it's a good unit. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it by any means. It's, I mean, it's, it's a good, it's it definitely good. It jumps good. Once you get the it trail, speed, I mean, it trail rides good. It trail rode fine, but when you're with a lot of idiots mm. on sport if side by side, yeah, then sporty ones, it can be a little hard. Or even, I mean, you only go to Silver Lake every now and then. Maybe maybe you'll do it more. Yeah, I, I want to do it more. Sports but, quad now. But now you get the sport quad to, to do those big yeah. dudes. But the defender struggled. It ain't made. It is definitely out of its element. I did not yeah. see any other ranger or defender out there. Well, sending it up the hills at least they weren't. But yeah. there wasn't very many. No, like maybe <clears throat> one or two. Yeah, like old people just just putting around, around. <laughs> not sending it. So, to get a little off topic here, and you guys can't see it on the, um, well, you can't see it on the video or anything, but. This is a trailer oh, yeah. me and Brock Brock found this trailer and it's twenty four footer, huh? Brand new. It's a twenty four foot and it's uh it's a seven thousand pound. That's a good weight. deal. It's not a bad deal. I it's, wouldn't wait on that one. No. It's all steel. There's not it's not a wood base or nothing. It is nothing but steel. It's got the built in uh tie downs too. Yep, and then it has the Brock Brock holes. don't like it. I don't know why. But um it has got underground ramps. Or under under the floor ramp, so you just pull them out, and you got ramps there. It's not like they fold up or anything. That's what my father in laws are. They're nice. Yeah. You just gotta remember to put the pin in. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, you do. 
I want to sit on that too long. No, that will be sold. We're gonna. I told Brock I can't really afford it right now, but if he wants to buy it, if he wants to go halvesies on it, I'll just have to make payments to him. So we might do that, and then maybe someday the business will just buy it outright. Maybe I don't know, but um, so that's that's, deal. that's one. Yeah, he came out across that. I was like, that's probably one of the most reasonable. And it's what we want. It's a twenty-four footer. So for two side by sides, it's perfect. Twenty-two feet is like pushing it. Yeah. But it'll work for like an X3 and a XP1000. But um, twenty-four foot. That's perfect for and two side by sides. Break out the two by twelves for when your buddy wants to throw his max on there. Yeah. Yeah. And what we like about it is that there's no sidewalls on it. Like we have like a utility trailer that we my dad uses. Yeah. But you can't park anything sideways on it. So you could park, you know, four quads on the front of that and still probably get... And one side-by-side side on yeah. it. Or you or could... we can use it for quads. our snowmobiling because... could put two quads on the front and probably still fit two side-by-sides. But yeah, prob- maybe. Or at least... Or one Be quad. Close. Well, like, um, our 24... Our trailer's 24 foot that we use. We could put two side-by-side... Side, well, the nine... We could put a 900 on it, the KRX on it, and then a quad sideways on it. Yeah. It was, but you had to turn the quad sideways because you couldn't had yeah. ramps on it, or sidewalls. This one's a flat bed, so you could plus easily throw do one it. in the bed in the truck. Yeah, there's that too, and yeah, well, and what I like about this one is that for snowmobiling, we don't have reverse on our sleds, so we and could just drive up drive right up the side or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't have to worry about it. So we're real highly interested in it. It's the best deal for the trailer we found. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what he paid for it. He said it's brand new, but <clears throat> it, this trailer he's asking forty five hundred dollars for it, which that's a good deal for, for that. a brand new trailer, twenty four feet, and it's literally all steel. And you can haul, if we, we could haul a truck on it. I'm doing a lot of salvage truck right oh, now, yeah. so if Easy. I need a, if I need to haul a truck with it, I can easily load a truck onto it. So that's it. Looks like a car hauler truck. It, it, they call it a car car hauler trailer, yeah. but we're gonna use it for side by sides, which are essentially cars. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, nowadays <laughs> yeah. Cars. yeah. So we're I we're gonna try to jump on it, but that was off topic. Um, yeah, it, I mean it's to do with the channel though. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, even last year, well, since I bought my side by side. I was getting by with stuff in my quad or dirt bike on the back of our trailer that we got now. And then Brock, we would borrow the snowmobile trailer from the farm, and Brock would use that. Um, well, even when we went on your bachelor party. Yeah. The hunt for trailers. Yeah, so that, that's, yeah, so we had a, we really hunted for trailers in the last half of the, my well, last eight months or so. Yeah. I borrowed my neighbor's trailer. I borrowed the farm trailer. And I'm I'm just I I don't like borrowing. I don't like borrowing things. stuff either. That's why I bought a truck. <laughs> I was well, borrowing even, trucks constantly. Even like driving your Predator versus mine in the yeah. field, I totally rip mine way harder than yours. Right. But, That's because well, I, I didn't mean, want to break yours. I gave you permission. You could rip it as hard as you wanted. But I know, but I still got that switch in. My <laughs> yeah, it's like I mean, if I break it, then I gotta pay for it. And... Yeah. If I break mine, I'm gonna pay for it anyways. So yeah, definitely gonna probably get a trailer and uh, gonna send it. Especially if we're gonna try to do more, try try to do a little bit more traveling. We're gonna need more tra- trailers. <laughs> yeah, I got two trucks and one trailer. Yeah, but your trailer is only good for one side by side. Yeah, you could probably get two on there if you really tried hard. Maybe if they were OG razors, you could probably get two on there. I mean, it's a sixteen footer, ain't it? Uh, 14. Okay, <laughs> you're pushing it then. You'd yeah. have to get the front one up on the rail uh, and the ratchet strap it there. Which is probably frowned upon. Probably. With the right wrong cop. <laughs> and the wrong TOT yeah. agent to pull you over. I don't remember where we're at. <laughs> um, so yeah, Marketplace. I'm sick of it. Yeah. But it is what it is now. I don't know. I don't know why people think they gotta be idiots. <laughs> On there, but everybody's a keyboard warrior nowadays, bud. That is true. That's true, and I should know this from being on YouTube or eBay or even eBay. Yeah, that was horrible. I don't know. eBay was probably one of the worst. People were mad about something. They told you, and it was a lot of 
capitalization and swear words. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but... A lot of exclamation points. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when you bought your Predator, I mean, that was pretty smooth. Yeah. But well, you, I pretty much just told those guys, I'm like, they said... But you weren't you weren't bullshitting shitting them around. You just you were up front and you were serious. You weren't just talking snap. And I said, "Is a squad available? Could be on my way." Yeah. And that's what I sent. And they got back with you and went and and bought it. It was like forty minutes. They got back. Then. Yeah. But, I mean, still. Yeah. And then we had a hour drive and. All of a sudden, done. I got a quad out of it. Yeah. yeah. It was a simple transaction. Yeah. It was a little bit rougher around the edges than we thought, but still good. Their negotiating skills could use some work. Yeah. <laughs> that's an, Okay, there's another... Yeah. <laughs> negotiating skills. People do not know how to ne- negotiate. <laughs> I hate this. Well, I hate this... It worked out well for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as a seller, you know, yeah. I'll get... <laughs> I'll get people... Well, is this available thing? I mean, yeah, that's a given. That's Facebook's problem, not people, because they just yeah. have it written out for they you already. it. But, whoa, um, whoa. the other thing that people, I just don't understand is, what is your lowest offer you'll take? It's like, why, make an offer, don't ask what I want, would want to take, you make an offer what you would so, be willing to give, you know? I had a guy send me that, and like, I so I had the defender listed for 20000 <laughs> Yeah. So he's like, what is the lowest offer you'll take? 21000 <laughs> yeah. like, what? 22,000. Like, you keep going up. I'm like, yeah, because you're not making an offer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're not like, negotiating. Like, I can I negotiate. That. I got to add 20. If people say that, I'll just say what the price is of that. I I, I could go higher. That'd be, you know, but, yeah, I'll just be like, uh, my lowest offer is this. It's what, I'm wanted, it's what I want to sell it for. Yeah. You know, if you want to try to negotiate... <clears throat> Give me an offer. Okay. Don't ask me what my offer is. You know, and that's some I don't like. So I love negotiating. I am totally a wheeler dealer guy, but I don't like negotiating over text. Yeah. Unless like you know like let's say I only have thirty five hundred bucks and it's four grand, I'll be like, well, will you take thirty five hundred. Yeah. And they say, yeah. Well, then I'll go. You know, check it out and yeah, maybe yeah. deal even off that. Like, oh, it's a <laughs> yeah. little rougher than the picture. Right. Three. Yeah. three yeah. But. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like dealing through text. Yeah. But sometimes you I understand. Have to, I no, I, I mean, if I'm interested in what I normally do with, if I'm interested, well, for one, if their price is fair, then I'll be, I'm interested in it. And then I won't say, I won't negotiate now. I was like, I'm interested in this because at, to me, if it looks good and the price is fair, then that's. A price I w- would potentially take it for. Yeah. So then I'll go look for it, look or look at it, and then if it's obviously worse than what it was, then that probably back away. Or if there's something that they didn't explain very well or show or, because mm-hmm. I'll I I I'll, I'll normally ask questions you know beforehand too you know you know yeah. how many hours I had on it blah 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 blah, and if it's something they didn't say right out then I'll negotiate with that you know give them reason to bring the price down and that's how I normally do it. Yeah. But not gonna bull crap around the bush, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's been the I trying get, trying to sell X three's been the, and the rims. The rims have been awful. I told you, man. I traded you the HD eight Defender for a no, while, I, a long time ago. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it'd be a square even deal, but it's not helping me out any. How's it not helping you out any? Because I still I, you'd have a new unit. This I don't want a new unit. I want. Cash money. <laughs> <laughs> I can rename it cash money. Unless you have a, a solid pickup that you'd be willing to trade, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I could trade you a salvage pickup for it. Nah, no. <laughs> your truck is not salvage. Your truck's a, a rust bucket. <laughs> it's salvageable. It's salvageable. <laughs> oh, with a lot of money invested well, in it. Jesse said he wants to trade Joel in for the X3, no, so No, okay. I didn't, did not say that. It's a salvage pickup. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been grinding my gears lately so i just i just had a i just wanted to talk about it but is there, it runs great it's a hybrid it burns oil and gas that's not what a hybrid is 
sure it is. No, hybrids. It's a mix of two things. <laughs> that's not. That's not how hybrids work. It is. No, no, it's not. <laughs> hybrids don't require an 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 additive. The oil is not an additive. It's part mixture of that. It's like a two stroke. You're not supposed to mix it together. It's a two stroke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the scrub's finally here. Scrub. Scrub, you want to be on the podcast? I heard a sigh. I heard a sigh. That trailer's sold already. Really? Oh, pending. It's pretty much sold. Are you a second in line? I, I don't know. I didn't really ask. He's like, yeah, it's pending, but I got other trailers. I'm like, I really just want this 24 footer. What What are his other trailers? 20 footers and 15 oh. footers. Ugh. No. No, I was looking at the other ones, and I just don't want the dovetail because. I bought you bring a bottom out more likely. In the dirt. It depends how you where you're taking it. I don't I mean, know. I'll bottom and I'll just drive it in the driveway. I'd love to. Or going up a hill like that, yeah. Because it, it's not like Mike's where it's longer and these ramps. It's car hauler style. I know. So it's, it's low. Yeah, so that went out. Damn. I don't know. It was pretty it was good. A nice buy. nice trailer too. Well, I mean, that dovetail's still in the right price range, but it's not an all-metal trailer. I don't care if it's all-metal. I just didn't want the dovetail part. I might no. see if they have non-dovetails. I just don't want a dovetail because, say, you know, you got two of them on there, we can still fit, like, a Predator on it. You're not going to want to fit the Predator on it or have the side-by-side sitting like that. And the extra dovetail. See what I'm saying? It wouldn't matter. The biggest thing is they're just going to bottom it out. I already know it. The dovetail part being that low. Even even Dad's trailer. Scrape there a couple times. All long trailers are going to do that going up a very steep incline here. I know, but then you put the dovetail on it. I don't know. My uh, father-in-law has a car hauler dovetail. I never had an issue with that. I borrowed it a couple times. Even at my stupid driveway. Mm. Where you flexed your car out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. We still got, we got, we got plenty of time. So. Yeah. The hunt will be back on. Come on, buddy. Take the school. That was the scrub, ladies and gentlemen. It's a quick appearance. <laughs> it's about as quick as he is into the sack, I've heard. <laughs> <clears throat> Two inch scrub club. Mm hmm. Is there anything you uh, want to talk about? This might be a shorter episode. I think I so. I mean, I haven't really done much. The weather hasn't been up to par to yeah. do much for me. I guess one thing I could talk about real quick is uh, I just released a, a video just kind of going over my YouTube goals. Um, and one of the, Some of the goals I, I want to hopefully accomplish this year is uh, travel more, to uh, different trail riding types of trails. Like within um, Michigan? Yeah, or? well, in Michigan and out of state. I'd like to travel out of state, but that's expensive. We'll see how the gas prices are. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the gas prices need to... They definitely suck. They need literally. to be a little better. Um, thanks, but Thanks, Biden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that I mean, that's one of my goals. Uh, I would definitely I want to do more trail riding. Uh, I have I used to do we used to do a lot of trail riding, and just the last couple of years we haven't done it as much. But this year I want to get back into it. I want to hit some fifty trail inch trails. Up. Yeah, some skinnier ones. So now that White has a quad and I have a quad and or dirt bike, depending on what time we're talking about here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're going to hit some more 50-inch trails. Uh, that's the one thing I have actually not been on as much. Because um, I'm normally following side-by-sides, normally. Cause I've been on 50-inch trails twice, both in my Razor 570. Yeah. One time was with my dad, and we did not like it because we were, like, crawling over shit. Right. It ended up being the Cabaret Fade Dirt Bike Trail we were on. 
<laughs> on the maps. Easy to do. On the maps, it said 50-inch trail right. or less. On a different map, it was Cabaret Fair Motorcycle Trail. Oh. So, they got some. So, someone there. screwed up. Yeah. But. But then another time was Leota with Justin. He was on his dirt bike. Yeah. And I was on the 50-inch okay. Razor. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah, those trails can be really technical. and um, well, they were. I want to... I'd like to do some. A so. lot of the corners are bank, which would be a blast on a quad. Yeah. We'll just have to uh, try to plan ahead of time, you know, just to do it. We just, for the yeah. channel, just do yeah. it. And, yeah. Brian, or Rebecca's got her pit black. She could come along. Or the prey, if we figure that out. Or the prey, yeah, out. I got the prey now. Just got to get yes. that carburetor fixed. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about that. Why don't you talk about the prey on the, we haven't talked right. about that yet, have we, on the podcast? I think we did a little bit. Did we earlier? Because it was my first quad I bought, and then I bought a second one. Yeah, but what we just figured out with it today. Oh, yeah, we, we haven't talked about it, now. So, the Prey, a little update on that. So, this is Sportsman 300. Sportsman 300, um, we talked about, you know, he got it really cheap and all that. Um, so, finally, finally figured out why we have no spark. It ended up being the stator was just bad. Um, so, bought a... Brand new stator was sixty dollars, not bad at all actually. Um, aftermarket, and uh, put her in and had great spark. Yeah, spark, spark right up, and so put everything back together and tried to get her to fire up, and it tried, and so we had a we played with it for a while and finally got to to run, um, but it would only run choked, and that was it. You couldn't give it throttle. If you unchoked it, it would instantly die. It you know, throttle would give it, it, it just died, so, it's like, well, I'm, and then I got looking closer at the carburetor, and it was not the original carburetor, someone put a Chinese aftermarket carburetor on it, so, and, uh, this l looked like the same exact carburetor that the, um, trail boss used, um, so, I was like, well, I'm probably... Probably know what's wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't know. I We dug into it and we found out that the pilot, it's not, the, the fuel, jets. the air, the, the jets were gummed up for some reason. And then the fuel to air mixture jet was way out of whack. Uh, but no matter what I changed, did not affect how it ran. Yeah. It did not change it whatsoever. I don't Very understand weird. that. So, uh, what we're probably going to end up doing is put a, an Macuna. actual Makuni carburetor in it and start with that. Um, I don't know. This Chinese one, just did something just off. It's not working right for some reason. So, so that's kind of where we're at. But it's, uh, it's running. It's going to be a ripper. It runs. I mean, it sounds good. Oh, yeah. It's running. It sounds just like a trail boss. I'm guessing that, <clears throat> I'm guessing that Players has this. 300 slash 330 engine that depending on what they want to put it in they either bore it out or don't bore it out but i think it's the same engine this one's actually air cooled though the trail boss was actually oil cooled was it yep hmm. um i don't know i guess i don't know what's what's better or not they either well if they ditched the, the oil cooled so the air cool is probably just as good new times time yeah i mean so what you so with the air cooled engines you you have you, the the fins on the engine are bigger yeah the oil cooled it looked hat, like the head was bigger but it's probably just the fins it's on just there. more fins on it yeah uh and the oil cooled engine has fins but they're not that big and then yeah. the oil, and it has an actual oil cooler to a radiator which in my opinion I don't know I didn't think the oil cooler can cool enough because it's only cooling the crank when you have it. Uh, like like a liquid cooled engine, the liquid is actually cooling the whole engine. So uh, we'll figure out this this quad and we'll get her running very soon. Uh, just gotta get this stupid, just another problem. But two more rippers. Two more rippers. But yeah, uh, I was talking about. Oh yeah, we we're talking about how it was cooled though. But so this is a short podcast. We're gonna end it here and uh, it is, this actually. Well, <laughs> we're actually doing this in the middle of the day. Well, in the yeah. evening at this point. This is normally being... We normally do these at freaking 1 a.m. or something, but... Midnight. Yeah. So, anyways, this is... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And 
all the other sorts of stuff. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys. Or, or and listening, watching and listening. If you, uh, I, you know, YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.